Welcome back to another Gruber Motor Company video series. Today we're going to blow your mind with a new battery for electric vehicles. What would you think of a Tesla that can go over 700 miles range and has a battery that can last up to 100 years? We all knew that a better battery technology would continue to evolve as EVs take over transportation. And it looks like the new direction is graphene-based supercapacitors. Graphene is the thinnest material known to man at one atom thick. It is also incredibly strong, about 200 times stronger than steel. Graphene is the thinnest compound known, the best conductor of heat at room temperature, and on top of that, graphene is the best conductor of electricity ever discovered. It is truly a material that could change the world and is beginning to move into some niche adoption, mostly in energy storage. Collaborating with a producer of this graphene supercapacitor solution, we are assisting them with moving this technology from an energy storage focus, moving it into an electric vehicle, a Tesla Model S test mule to replace the lithium-ion main battery. We will be placing graphene cells into a Model S battery tub in a P90D Ludicrous Model S to provide a proof of concept vehicle that is expected to have an extended range of 700 miles plus, substantially longer battery life up to 100 years, a rapid full charge time of only 15 minutes and increased performance with over 2,000 amps available if the Tesla battery management system and drivetrain can handle this kind of power. So let's go over some lithium ion history for a moment to give us a perspective on what we're moving from and to. Tesla introduced and revolutionized mass DC storage technology with their multi-cell lithium ion pack design, first used commercially in the Tesla Roadster, and now copied almost exclusively by all the major EV producers. Although this design packs an enormous amount of energy, allowing cars to travel hundreds of miles on a charge, it has some inherent downsides. Any physical damage to the packs, if punctured or severely stressed, can result in hard to extinguish fires. Lifespan is another issue. Although no one is precisely sure what the lifespan of this multi-cell pack design will end up being, since the Tesla Roadster was really the first EV using this design and is often still going strong after 13 years. Built to a life expectancy and design life of 10 years, everyone, including the early Tesla battery design pioneers, are pleasantly surprised that we're getting 13 years out of these packs, but everyone is aware that an expiration date is coming. A third weakness of lithium-ion battery technology is low state of charge conditions resulting in permanent damage to the cells. If the state of charge reaches below the 4 volt nominal to 2 volt DC or less for any extended amount of time, the lithium ion packs suffer irreversible damage. Our company has actually perfected the lithium ion low state of charge recovery process, saving and rescuing many Teslas each year, but extended low state of charge conditions result in permanently damaged packs not able to bounce back. Environmental issues. It takes about 500,000 gallons of water to extract one metric ton of lithium, and toxic chemicals are used in the extraction process. In addition to being hard on the environment, global demand for lithium is driving up prices instead of reducing them. Now, the graphene supercapacitor solution battery is much safer. Here's a video segment of 9 millimeter rounds being fired into a graphene pouch battery while it keeps on functioning. If you do this with a lithium ion pack, 
you're going to end up with fireworks. The usable service life of a graphene battery solution is a minimum of 50 years. It is a supercapacitor and at 43,000 charge cycles, charging once per day would actually provide a 100-year lifespan. The graphene solution is also an ultra-fast charging method compared to lithium-ion. It will fully charge within 15 minutes. Graphene technology is also impervious to low temperatures, an Achilles heel of a lithium-ion pack. That's why they have heaters in the packs. This new battery technology will maintain full capacity even well below zero degree Fahrenheit temperatures. It can also be completely discharged to zero volts and it comes back every single time. There is more power available per square inch in graphene solutions than lithium ion, which essentially can double the range with today's technology. Another cool feature is, with graphene, there is no cooling required. And finally, there is no shortage of graphene. There's plenty of carbon on this planet that should last us lifetimes. So this is what a graphene supercapacitor power cell looks like. Our challenge will be to find how many of these pouch batteries we're going to be able to fit into a Tesla Model S battery tub without redesign. With graphene technology, we're not limited to placing these cells inside the battery tub. Structural components like the car body, even doors, could be adapted to hold the graphene pouch battery solutions. This new battery technology is rapidly gaining interest. Tesla just announced that they are also going the graphene route with EV batteries. So, welcome to the futuristic world of graphene batteries or solid state batteries with performance more like supercapacitors. We will be reporting the results of this new battery conversion in future videos as we start time trials with our P90D Ludicrous test mule. Be sure to stay tuned, this should be an exciting adventure. I'm Pete Gruber, thank you for watching. Make sure to follow us on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and if you want more in-depth content like this, make sure to check us out on Patreon. Thank you.